Welcome back to week three of the Injustice Battle Arena. Starting off this week's first match is Aquaman. This often misunderstood and underestimated warrior is as ruthless and deadly in the ocean as he is on land. Now the King of Atlantis will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a hero and founding member of the Teen Titans, Cyborg. Cyborg's robotically enhanced body gives him the abilities of super strength and teleportation, making him the closest thing to a living weapon the world has ever seen. How about we make some new friends out there in the real world and see what they have to say about it, hmm? Cyborg, Aquaman, who are you gonna root for? Cyborg. Cyborg, easy. Aquaman. No, Cyborg, for sure. <laughs> Uh, I think definitely Aquaman. Because he can control the ocean. Cyborg's waterproof. <laughs> yes. Is that 10, true? 10,000 leagues under the sea. I don't know. Uh, most likely it would be Aquaman because he, he has a slight, uh, slight advantage. Since he can control the sea and all the creatures, Cyborg's out outnumbered basically. Interesting. You're the first person to use math. Because I'm Asian also. That, that also works. For our next lineup, we are going green. Highball Hal Jordan is the Green Lantern, a real American hero with a magical ring that allows him to create anything that his highly imaginative mind can dream of. But what'll happen when the Lantern steps into the ring against the living dead man Solomon Grundy? Grundy's an aggressive zombie. He's got an arsenal of deadly weapons stuck in his flesh and a very creepy nursery rhyme fetish. Can brains beat brawn? Are the undead even beatable? Green Lantern. Green Lantern, definitely. Not nah, Solomon Grundy. Green Lantern. And what are you? I think it'd be Solomon. <laughs> Green Lantern. Green Lantern's gonna win that. He can do anything with his ring. He's also an all-around badass. He'll win any fight. Fully charged. I say Solomon and Grundy because he's like an undead zombie, so you can't kill him. Green Lantern, you take off his ring, he's dead. That's it. They're done. We've heard a lot of interesting opinions out here today, but how about we get a little star power up in here to give us their thoughts on the matter. We've got Scott Porter, star of Heart of Dixie and Friday Night Lights on the line. Scott, what do you think? Aquaman. Or a cyborg. First of all, Aquaman doesn't get enough credit. You know how much water is on this planet, and he controls all of it. Cyborg's cool, but as soon as he gets underwater, oh, he's screwed. Unless it's in Nebraska, Aquaman's winning this fight. Green Lantern versus Solomon Grundy. This one's a little closer. But I gotta go Hal Jordan, I gotta go Green Lantern. He can just scoop him up with any number of gadgets he thinks of, you know, to make with that green ring. Just put him in a giant green bubble and throw him up in space. Just leave him up there. Green Lantern for the win. Once a Green Lantern, always a Green Lantern. Thank you so very much, Scott. Now it's all about your votes, guys. Go represent your favorites and decide their fate. You have until Thursday night at midnight to vote, then tune back in on Friday to find out who won and who will move on to the quarterfinals. As always, thank you for watching and go vote. Seventy-five percent of the Earth is comprised of water. Yeah, there's a good shot that a fight could happen around a coastal region. Yeah, because if Cyborg won't follow him, then if he I'm quit. Cyborg, I turn to the judges. I'm like, he pushed out and swam into the depths nope. of the ocean. Does that count?